Did you know that almost every Android phone has hidden app installed by the factory that you cannot find in the menu? You will be surprised by what it does on your phone, it watches your behavior, it tracks what you do, your messages that you write or receive, your location, and it reads your notifications. It can use even your camera to see where you are looking. And you don't even know it. In today's video, I will show you how to find this app, explain why it is there, and how to turn it off. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in. Let's start with why the developers put this app on your phone in the first place. It's made for smartphone features, extra functions that most people don't use and that are not on every Android phones. Here's a quick list of them. Smart text selection. When you highlight an address in text, your phone suggests opening Google Maps. For this to work, the app needs to see what you select. Clipboard suggestion. When you copy text, this app tries to guess where you want to paste it and shows you a notification or a prompt with a suggestion. Now playing. This feature is only on Pixel phones. If music is playing nearby, your phone shows a notification with the song's name. But for this, the microphone has to listen all the time. Live caption. These are subtitles for videos, so you can watch them without sound, but it does not work on every video. Smart reply. This feature reads your messages, for example in Messenger, and suggests quick replies. To do this, app needs access to your chats, app actions, and suggestions. This feature tries to guess what you might need, like calling your mom or ordering a taxi. To do this, it watches your habits, your location, which apps you open and what you do in them. Smart rotation. This app uses a camera to see how you are looking at your screen. For example, if you are lying on your bed with your phone, the screen will not turn. As we can see, these are not basic features, you can use your phone without them, but they are quite convenient. Some features are not on all phones, so if you cannot find uh, these features on your phone, don't worry. For these convenient features to work, the phone collects a lot of information about you. This is not good for privacy. The company says most of this information stays on your phone, but some information goes to the company servers. For example, the smart reply feature, which gives you a messages suggestions can send data to the servers. If you don't want other to see your messages, you can turn off this feature. Now I'll show you how to do this on two Android phones. Do you ever feel like your day is full of tasks and the list keeps growing? New meeting gets scheduled, emails arrive in Gmail, you write tasks in your phone notes and add events to your calendar. With all this chaos, it's hard to remember everything and give each task the time it deserves. That's where Ecoflow comes in. It's a smart task and time manager that keeps all your planned tasks organized. But Ecoflow, it is not just a simple to-do list. It gathers all your tasks from emails, your calendar, phone notes and more, all in one place. It helps you plan your day, gives the right amount of time for each task. On the left panel you can see a list of tasks that appeared automatically and manually. For example, I received an email on Gmail from my partner, remind me about uh, that we were planning uh, to make a video together. And now I can, for example, schedule this task for a day convenient for me by simply dragging this task into my calendar in the Ekiflow app. After that, if I click on this task, I can choose time, duration, add deadline, description, and tags. I also added some meeting to the Google Calendar, and as you see, they also appeared in the Ekiflow app. The Ekiflow app also features a personal AI assistant that will help you complete your tasks. To start using Ekiflow, follow the link in the video description, and you will have control over all your daily tasks. Let's start with this one. Head to main settings on your Android phone. After that, scroll down to security and privacy. And here, scroll all the way down to more privacy settings. Tap on that. After that, scroll down to Android system intelligence. And here, tap on clear data. Select all time and tap clear data. So we clear data which this application already collected about us. And after that, select keyboard and turn off this feature. And on the second phone, head to main settings too. After that, uh, uh, open the privacy and security tab. In this phone, this called security and privacy. Then scroll all the way down and select more security and privacy. 
here scroll down to Android System Intelligence and do the same first clear data all the time clear data and turn off this feature select keyboard and turn off smart reply feature because this feature has access to your charts and then send data to company servers also if you don't use all these features and want maximum privacy you can disable this app the risk is that even if all this data is saved on the phone there is a possibility of data leakage for example if some malware bypass android security and gains access to this information this app also runs in the background as we know the more processes run in the background the slower the phone becomes especially on older phones and it drains the phone's battery faster if you don't need this app you can disable it it will not affect the basic functions of your phone you will only lose these extra features but you will maximize your privacy while using the phone to do this open play store on your phone after that in the upper right hand corner of the screen tap on your profile photo and here scroll down to help and feedback select it after that tap on search scroll down to search and tap on that and here type delete then select delete apps on your android device and here tap on tap to go to application settings here select android system intelligence and first pay attention to the permissions tap on permissions this app has all the permissions on our phone to contacts to location to our microphone to our camera phone sms and so on with so many permissions imagine how many information this app can collect about us now the most important thing is not to disable individual permissions such as the microphone or camera as some youtube bloggers advise if you don't use these smart features it's best to disable the entire app to avoid glitches to do this tap back and select disable after that tap disable app or if you want to continue using these smart features then disable only smart reply feature as i showed one minute ago to improve your privacy that's all i wanted to share with you if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos thanks to everyone supporting my channel i really appreciate it if you'd like to support as well you can do so via the link in the description thanks for watching